Uh, the employee experience. We've got uh, a really um, uh, tight workforce that's out there, and, and you've, you have to ensure that from an employee standpoint, you're, you're, you're keeping your people. So there's this notion of a war for talent that, that's out there. And I know, Amanda, you've got some things to share, but um, each one of you really has unique stories that you could tell us about uh, how you're, you're handling um, uh, the user experience uh, in your organization. Um, um, I'd like to start with Patrick, because uh, you've got a great story. Patrick, if you want to uh, start off the conversation and let us know how you're using and leveraging sweet people from an employee experience standpoint. Yeah, sure. So uh, actually the one feature that maybe when we got involved, we, we didn't think was going to be much, but it was the kudos feature of uh, employee recognition. And, and with the kudos, uh, employees can uh, recognize each other and attach a one of your core values to that. Um, so what we did with it, we actually took the kudos and we said, hey, whoever gives a kudos within a month, we, uh, you can easily pull a report. We pull a report and we actually choose one person um, and give them a, a, a gift card. And it's a small just token of appreciation, but it's really turned into something culturally that we didn't expect. Um, it's almost a friendly competition. Now we have people that are cutting out the little kudos thumbs up and putting it on their cubes um, to kind of track how many they have. Um, th th we have a certificate of a value champion per month. And uh, all of a sudden we went from maybe, you know, 10 to 15 kudos being given out each month, which you know, now we're getting 60, 70, even 100 um, kudos that are given out. So it's really turning into a competition and culturally people have uh, really just focused on it. So it's gone really well and it's, so a feature that we didn't think was gonna be much has really turned into an uh, integrated part of our culture. Great, Amanda for, for DSI. Well, the employee experience um, for DSI, we've been using NetSuite for a little over a year plus now. Uh, close to two years, I believe. And adding the employee HCM, neat sweet people uh, to, to the product has been great because most of our employees have already been using it and having the time off feature, the kudos is another area for us as well. We've created kudos that are specific to DSI and to our culture, to our vision, our leader's vision, mission, and so forth and so on. Things that are uh, critical to to what we're looking for in, in our employees and keeping them you know, at DSI. So the kudos, the org browser, having uh, the ability for everybody to see who is in our organization, who they report to, and so forth and so on, has our employees have raved about having this feature now because we did not provide that in the past. And so they're excited. They've been using NetSuite for other purposes throughout the organization, so it really made sense to just add this extra component. And so they've really, uh, the feedback has been great. So our employees are pleased with the time off plan. They're excited that they can choose the ones that are specific, specific to them in whichever country or wherever they are, California, uh, being a little bit different than the rest of us. Uh, and so yeah, the feedback has been great and our employees are really looking for uh, some more enhancements into, to, to feed into more of uh, what's available. Great. And, and Julie, I, I've got to start this off with the, uh, the story of when we came to visit Greenberg. One of the, um, well, one of the comments from Julie and, and her team was, we're a little apprehensive about rolling out a financial solution to all of our employees for HR self-service. And, and so I'm wondering if you can talk through kind of what the uptake has been at Greenberg and what the thoughts are, especially from an employee experience standpoint. I'd say in particular from a new hire experience for people particularly who are remote, um, it has really helped cut down the amount of chaos I think that new hires can feel when they're, they're hired to do a particular job, but there's always administrative pieces that go along with it. And I used to feel like we had a very complicated list. You put your timesheet here, and you put your time card here, and you can go here for org chart, and you can go here for this and here for that. And it, it's just a lot to absorb and a lot to remember when you're onboarding and trying to learn your your core responsibilities here. So now being able to direct people to one place, mm -hmm. you do your timesheet here in NetSuite and you request your PTO here in NetSuite and you can visit the org chart here in NetSuite. It just makes it seem very easy and streamlined. So that's been a great feature. Great, thanks. 
Omar. Thanks. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, I'm gonna go back as Emily and log into the employee center here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, again, Emily can see her portlets, but what I wanna do is I want to go and look at our new employee directory. And she is looking for, let's say, a designer in the company. She met that designer last week. She doesn't remember exactly the name, but you can use keywords to search, designed by job title or by department or any keyword. We have 16 employees who meet that search criteria, very easy to, to use. You can see their name, title information, contact information, who is the supervisor, which department they are part of. These fields are configurable. You can pull in anything from the suite, from across the suite here. I can use it to narrow down. I remember the person I met was based in San Mateo, so I can filter it very easy, and there it is, Adrian. Adrian was the person, uh, he gave me a good overview of the design department and you know the, the concepts that they are working on now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him kudos and tie that kudos to one of our organizational values, uh, creativity in this case, let's say, and that will show up in our kudos feed and the public recognition feed. I also want to understand Adrian's organization and where he fits in and what does the organization structure look like so we can jump to the browser very easily from directory. There it is, Adrian in the middle, uh, his direct reports, peers, manager, their peers, so you're seeing multiple levels at the same time. Browsing is very easy, it's just point and click, so you click on another person, it loads their org chart, very dynamic. You can zoom in to see more details, on the card, it, it, it works kind of like Google Maps or zoom out to you know, show a fit more on the screen, but it'll show you less information. Uh, you can also search dynamically. So if you're thinking of another person, you can directly look them up. In this case, let's look up Frank. Frank is the CFO, and you can easily jump to that organization. Uh, you can download this as PDF and use it for any purposes that you like, because that's something our customers ask very commonly, being able to download that org chart. So it's dynamic. It's downloadable, it's searchable, and it's super easy to use. Um, yeah, so that is sort of, I think, it relates to some of the things that you have been talking about, how the employee record and that information flows in here. It provides, you know, tied in with your kudos and, and everything. So um, anything anyone wants to add, uh, how that adoption of this was in the organization, perhaps? Just fine. I, <clears throat> pardon me. I find that the kudos are being more readily used. We previously had a kudos function in our former HSAM product, but because that product was not used for very many things, people didn't log into it specifically to give a kudo versus now they're in NetSuite for 14 different reasons, and it's easy to just, oh yeah, I think I'll give a kudo while I'm in there. So it's great. Nice. Perfect. All right.